guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Brianna and today I have a tag video for you and this tag is called the Makeup Mess Tag and this was created by Spooky Lips and Fat Hips. Great username. Um, and I'm personally being inspired by Amy from Living in Chrysalis. Uh, Amy does a lot of tag videos and yeah, I just thought that the premise of this tag was really fun and exciting and yeah please go show both of their channels some love i will leave all the information down below in the description box so for me as a big clean freak i thought that, that um, a makeup mess tag is going to be interesting and in seeing how messy i really am with my makeup so let's just get straight into it number one how often do you wash your makeup brushes sponges um well i usually wash them at least once a week if i have used a makeup brush in a week I, I wash it within the week usually um, or alternatively if I use more brushes before um, the week is up I wash them all so sometimes I actually run out of eye brushes especially if I'm filming a lot of videos um, in a day sometimes depending on the day sometimes I can film five or six videos um, and if they're all makeup looks, I can guarantee you I will run out of eye brushes 100%. Um, so I definitely need to wash all my brushes after filming and let them dry overnight. And yeah, if I want to do more filming the next day, then I can. So yeah, that's sort of me. I'm, I'm pretty good at cleaning my brushes. I'm really good at it um, because yeah, I, I don't have enough brushes where I can't, I don't have the luxury of being able to just leave brushes dirty um, and not clean them. So yeah. Number two, do you, how do you organize your makeup collection? I can actually show you guys. Um, I'm just going to take the camera off now. So I've been filming quite a bit today, so I, I do apologize. Um, I've got obviously some of my stuff from my makeup look earlier. Um, I use one of these sort of drawer type things just from a stationery supply store um, and then I organize all my makeup like this so here are all my face products and there's more at the back obviously um, I've got my Colourpop monochromatic palettes and some eye stuff I've got all my lip stuff in this drawer um, I've got pretty much all my other palettes in this drawer I've got my Paulina one at the back um, yeah, at the front you can see those. And then the bottom drawer is actually empty at the moment. Um, I've got other palettes over here. I've got more um, behind these cotton balls. I've got my brushes over here. Um, yeah, and that's my stand, obviously. There we go, guys. I'm going to pop you back on. Yeah, so there we go. So, yeah, I, I've got a very, very simple setup. Um, I have all my makeup in one place. I don't like to have a lot of makeup. That's not my goal as a channel. I'm not a collectionist or anything like that. I used to be a collectionist and it made me very, very miserable. Um, so yeah, I keep my setup very simple. Um, and yeah, I know exactly where everything is, what drawer it's in, um, and I can easily take things out and use them as needed. Number three, do you put your makeup products away after you're done using them or do you leave them out for tomorrow? I always put my makeup products away um, because depending on the day and depending on what I want to do for my look, um, yeah, it can be completely different. So today, for example, I actually use concealer. Um, I use the Essence Concealer when I normally don't. Um, I used a peachy blush that I got from uh, Ren from Strawberry Lolly in a Japanese um, makeup th box thing and then I've got regular things that I will always use which is like things like my RCMA foundation palette um, and essence lash and brow gel mascara um, and then things like a paint pot from MAC which I most I use most days the painterly one um, but even if I've got a few things that I regularly use I always just put them away so that I can start fresh the next day and pull things out and match things um, depending. And yeah, that, that's pretty much what I do. Yeah. Number four, loose or pressed powders. I don't use powder very often. I've actually gotten rid of all my powders. Um, I don't like to use powder on my face. I think it makes me look creasy and yucky and I don't like it. Um, but I much prefer pressed powders over loose. 
loose gets everywhere. It goes all over the floor, all over my clothes, all over my face and not in a good way. Um, and I always sneeze and cough um, with loose powders. I don't, my, my respiratory system is weird. Okay. I've got asthma um, and yeah, I don't like um, loose powders for that reason because they usually have talc in them um, and my airways hate that. So yeah, always pressed. Number five, do you ever fall asleep without taking your makeup off? Uh, very rarely, but sometimes I do. Sometimes I will just lay in bed um, and relax and then I'll just fall asleep. Uh, but usually my last thing of the night is to go into the shower um, and rinse my makeup off um, and take that off uh, before going to bed. So unless I'm really, really tired, um, I may do just like a quick makeup wipe, which isn't really ideal, but it's better than doing nothing. Um, or unless I'm really unwell, um, I always take my makeup off. Yeah. Uh, number six, what makeup rules in quotation marks uh, do you like to break? Um, look, I think... Um, I think my makeup is very simplistic um, and that's sort of why I'm challenging that rule at the moment where everyone is doing Instagram ready everything, you know, like the huge Instagram brow and heavy pigment on the eyes and super blended and, you know, lines that are really sharp and things like that um, and super contouring and stuff like that. Like I keep things really simple. Um, and I wouldn't, it's not really a rule. I just, I don't see the point in doing all of that stuff unless you're going to do it for photos, which is fine. If you want to do it for photos or, um, to express your art, that's cool. But for every day going out, doing things that makeup looks horrific. And every time I see someone with Instagram makeup in person, it looks horrific. In photos, when they're out and about, it looks amazing. But up close, you can see every single pore, every single line, uh, baking as well. Like all this baking and powder and everything, it makes the skin look so dry and just horrible. So when I do makeup, I like to do it for me. And I like to do it in a very natural, simplistic way. Um, well, natural in the terms of nowadays natural. Um, look, I like a bright eye like anyone else. You can see the eye I've got on today. Um, you know, I've got blush, I've got bronzer, I've got highlight on. Um, you know, I'm still contouring my face to a degree. I'm still styling my brows. I'm just not adding pigments and things. And I'm still wearing mascara. I just don't do lashes and things like that. So, yeah, that, that's pretty much all it is for me. I, you know, I, I quite enjoy... Um, being a little bit different in that way. And look, it, it probably won't make me very popular on here and I probably won't get all the views that all these super artistic people get. You know, I'm aware of that, uh, but that's how I want to do it. And that's, yeah, that's me. Number seven, will you use a product even if it's cracked or broken? Uh, most definitely, most definitely. Uh, but there does come a point where if something is so broken and you're having such a hard time using it, just get rid of it. Honestly, um, I've had products that have smashed and broken and I've gone, I cannot repair that. That needs to go in the bin. Um, yeah, I've had a lot of... Re I've tried repressing a lot of different products and I have never had success repressing so if it's a small crack i leave it and i'm very careful about how i handle it uh but yeah i don't have anything cracked or anything like that um in my collection at the moment i mean i had the essence glow to go and this one here the heart um i don't know why but the highlighter just fell out um one day as i was doing my makeup i opened it up um and it just cracked and fell out everywhere um so Look, there's nothing you can do. Um, sometimes products are going to break and sometimes these things just happen. Um, yeah, so that's that. Number eight, do you wait to pan a product completely before you replace it? Um, well, I've never fully completed a product. I think I just buy a lot of different things. Uh, I don't buy backups of products, if, if that's what you're sort of getting at with this question. I don't buy backups. Um, I, I think, you know, if you like something enough, 
when when you start getting to the very end like i mean the end end or when you just run out that's when you should repurchase i don't think you should repurchase it early unless it's a limited edition product and you've just fallen head over heels for it don't repurchase it um you know we've all got so much makeup and it's going to take so long to use everything up anyway so yeah that's that's my thoughts on that yeah uh number nine how do you feel about sharing makeup I think it's completely fine. I mean, you know, not all of us are, you know, infested with diseases and everything. Um, you know, I think a lot of health professionals make it so dramatic, you know. Oh, you could get pink eye. Oh, you could get this. Oh, you could get that. Well, I could get that by walking down the street. I mean, seriously. Um, I have never had an infection or anything caused by sharing makeup. Never. I've never had a problem, ever. Uh, number 10, how do you feel about buying, trading, used makeup? Same thing again. I have never had an issue. I've bought a lot of used makeup before. Never had an issue, never had any problems, irritations, anything with used makeup. Um, and, yeah, I'm happy to keep continue uh, continuing to buy used makeup if I want to. Oh, sorry, guys. Ooh. it's getting to that point in the afternoon i think <laughs> number 11 how often do you declutter your makeup fairly regularly um i would say at least every month or so i take stock of what i have and i'm the type of person i like to keep track of what i have so that when it comes to making purchases i can make a more informed decision um and yeah if i if i'm not using something and I'm never going to use it. It's time to get rid of it. You know what I mean? Like it's really time to just say goodbye, adios, you know? So that's what I do. Yeah. Number 12, do you use your fingers to apply makeup? Very rarely. I mean, sometimes I'll do it for the highlighter or the eyes or for the lips. But yeah, um, yeah I, I don't like to use my fingers a lot with my makeup. I don't like the feeling of makeup on my fingers um, and trying to get it off my fingers. Um, but yeah, sometimes using your fingers is the best tool um, at your disposal. So I'm not against it. It's just I don't use them a lot. No. Number 13, what products, if any, do you hoard in your purse, bag, backpack, etc.? Lip balms. Lip balms, lip balms, lip balms. I always carry a lip balm no matter where i'm going what i'm doing yeah uh other makeup products no i don't carry others i used to carry just a powdered foundation a long time ago i'm talking a couple of years ago um when i was going through a little bit of a makeup stage then um, i used to put a little bit of powdered makeup on uh just to give the effect that um yeah that I've got a little bit of colour to my face, things like that. Yeah, that's about it. Hmm. Second last question, the penultimate question. What is your least favourite step in your makeup routine? Um, foundation, yeah. This was actually in another, um, this, this question was in another tag video I did recently. Um, yeah, definitely foundation. I find it extremely boring. Um, and yeah, I... Yeah, if I could get someone to do my foundation for me every day or I could just click my fingers like that and have my foundation on, I would be a happy girl. And last question, what is your worst makeup memory? Now, this question always comes up in a lot of tags and you guys have probably heard it about 10 million times now, but I'm going to share it again. Um, yeah, I was about 15, yeah, 15, 16 in between there. Um, I had gotten a sample of a Revlon Color Stay foundation uh, from a magazine. I applied it to my face thinking I looked awesome with some fingers, see, fingers. Um, and I actually ended up buying a bottle of it because I was working at the time and I wore it, uh, to school on my first day. And my best friend at the time turned around and said to me, you look like an Oompa Loompa. And I was put off makeup for a long, 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 long time after that. I was like, no way. Oh, I was so upset. I was just like, oh, no way. 
Um, so yeah, I was pretty upset after that. And yeah, it kind of scarred me for life. <laughs> there we go. That is that. So um, the makeup mess tag is now over. And if you would like to do this tag, I tag you. If you like to create content, please feel free to do this tag. Um, if you don't create content, please just let me know down in the comments what you would have said for some of these answers, what your answers would have been if they were different to mine. Um, I know I probably answer questions a little bit differently to what a lot of people would. So yeah, I would like to hear your thoughts down below. And thank you ever so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, take care. Bye-bye.